In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of my texture design program that I've been working on for some time now. It actually is a combination of numerous programs that I've had in development for several years. It started as a combination of a, this is a programming language built into it. It's got a, a raster-based paint programming built in. So for instance, I can just grab a color here and just start painting. This is this is the image that was generated through the programmable script right in here. But I can use it as a math-based instructional program as well because I've integrated all the math. And then I have paint brushes and uh, color. Basically what happens is everything that you're doing within the, here's my calculator, everything you do within the scripting language you can typically do within a menu as well is quite very powerful. And so I've kind of put it in, in a state where redesigned the whole thing to incorporate everything all I, I have separate calculators and separate paint programs and separate uh, programming languages but now this program is the purpose of it is to kind of try to integrate it all together as one and I've upgraded it quite significantly as far as the programming language and the paint tools and the whole nine yards and I hope to have it on the market uh, by June of this year so I'll kind of give you an idea I just cranked out this image here using this scripting language that I've created and these are colors you can set I can either set the colors here here's you know one of the colors that I set is red green and blue and you can see learn about those in a number of my lessons that I have posted or if you don't want to work that way then you can just come down in here and you can set you can grab a color and you can just change the red green blue values and you'll see it change right in here like this and then once I have it I just save the image and then I take it over into Blender and then here's a here's the image mapped into cycles. It doesn't look like it here yet because I have it scaled up to 50 by 50. But if you go look in close, here's that same image up close. There it is. This is just a bunch of these individual ones that I have mapped into the scene, like this. Well, you can kind of see it there. There it is, right there. So that's what this texture is all about, like that. So it's an easy way for me to generate textures within a scene as well and that's one of the ways that I use it so it's um, but the paint program is really powerful as well the, but the beauty of having a scripted version is that it's scalable so this version of the program runs creates 1024 by 1024 images so that's a pretty nice size but it's also scalable in the sense that I can just change the resolution of this to say 2048 by 2048 and I can do that right now actually and generate a much higher resolution map but it doesn't allow me to I don't have a way to display the whole image on the screen at the same time yet and so currently the first version will come out as a 1024 by 1024 uh, version but it's uh, it's quite powerful even down in here I have my animation frames built in so it's designed so you can actually uh, make modifications to your script easily in here and maybe you you generate this like this and maybe you make one little modification here and you can basically create an animation title and create individual frames and save those as individual images and then you can have a sequence of animated geometric designs going on in here and there's way more than I've shown you at this point but uh, it kind of gives you an idea where it's heading and uh, there's I'll have quite a few different products on the market here in the near future on my sci-fi animator website when I get it up and running. I was hoping to get it up and running in February but I was too busy with too many other things and um, maybe here in yeah maybe this month I'll have it up and running with all kinds of new tutorials. I'm going to have advanced and intermediate tutorials. Those will be paid tutorials instead of the 400 plus free tutorials that I have on YouTube right now. But they're really designed for technical artists to really give you a competitive edge in the market. So it's, you know, nowadays with software becoming so powerful, say like Blender, it's unbelievably powerful. I mean, if you point and clicks and you can generate smoke and fire and fluids at the whole nine yards. So what's going to really help distinguish you as an artist is you either have to become a super great illustrator modeler type individual and that can always give you a competitive edge or you can you know or maybe even just a good rigor or you can have technical skills and that's always a great general purpose skill to have so a lot of my tutorials are based on providing you skills in programming and math and applied math towards science and engineering applications and that's what those tutorials would be 
and so it's uh, and so since that's not really more of a mass market product, I can't really rely on YouTube to try and generate ad revenue based on you know a, a bunch of views. In fact, it's even difficult to generate ad ad revenue based on the tutorials that I have on YouTube right now. It's unbelievable. I mean, they're just they're good, but they're not mass market type tutorials that generates you know tens of thousands of views like that. All right, well that's it for now. And I'll see you in the next video.